Hello for the final time this weekend on another episode of the Big Match as this time it's the Edinburgh Derby in a Scottish Premiership clash between Hibernian and Hearts of course. Both managers heads seem to be on the chopping block at this moment in time so it'll be interesting to see which team can come out and really put a performance on in this high octane clash that we all know as the Edinburgh Derby. It's not one that's always known for goals but let's hope that it will be an entertaining clash nonetheless, as I hand you over to the match day coverage, live from Easter Road. Bring on the action! Well lads, we're heading to the train station, we're both going our separate ways, she's going back home, and I'm heading to the Edinburgh Derby. The Scottish weather is back, doing its best to ruin our weekends. Well let's hope the Edinburgh Derby can be a good spectacle, and End a really good weekend. And on that note, let's get the score predictions in. I'm actually a fan of the day. Got some Hibs and Hearts fans involved, of course. But let's see what they have to say. So my predictions for the Edinburgh Derby is going to be a 1-0 win for Hearts away from home. Hibs have the better team on paper. It's going to be a, a really close game, but I think Hearts might just slip the win. So this is my prediction for the Hearts. Hibs game. Both teams are not doing great at all. So I'm going to say a no no. 2 1 to Hibs, and that's me being confident. And I'm not confident at all. But yeah, that's my prediction. Hibs v Hearts. I'm going to go for a 3 1 Hearts. Where Flo Camberry for the Hibs goal, Jake Moraney, Sean Clare, and Uchi Epeezu will get the Hearts goals. Here's my prediction for the Edinburgh Derby. Obviously, the news came out today that Connor Washington's injured his hamstring away for three months about a massive miss for us. So, we have to dig out the squad, get another player to play up front, probably Stephen McLean or Uche. Hopefully, we can still grind out a result regardless, but massive if we could win it. I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Hearts win. Uche to score, why not? Prediction for the first seven of the Derby of the season. Both managers are on a thin line, to be honest. I'm going to say a 2 1 Hibs one. So my prediction for the Hearts versus Hibs game on Sunday is going to be a 2-1 win to Hearts with Rio Taro Machino getting one and Naismith getting one and for Hibs, for Canberra. My score prediction for the Edinburgh Derby on Sunday is 1-0 Hearts. Obviously me being a Hearts fan I'm not going to back against us in a Derby but I think both teams are on terrible form, both teams want their manager sacked so I can see this being pretty eye bleeding stuff. So. I think Hearts will edge it 1-0 with a goal from Machino. My prediction for the Hibs Hearts game is going to be a 1-0 Hibs win with Craig Levine to be sacked afterwards. So Jen's train is the Alloa one at quarter past 12. Mine's is the half past 12 going to Edinburgh. What's the like target for the day's video though, Jen? 150. 150 likes for the day. We smashed it yesterday. We had a fantastic win over at Fur Hill. Let's hope that this Edinburgh Derby lives up to expectations and you can smash the like target. Do your thing. Bye Jen. Bye. Waverly. There's one thing for sure and that's that the atmosphere is starting to build. There's a big display going on in this part of the stand. So I'll actually be taking part in a hip run before the game. We'll see if I can get a picture of that and put it on the screen when it's happening. But hi, right, let's get in here. Shot and 
interception. No far. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible, mate. That was shocking. Professional football players. Half time. Atmosphere's alright, but the football is utter garbage. Nothing in comparison to the Dundee Derby, which I know a lot of you will be basing this video on because it's the two biggest derbies outside the Old Firm in Scottish football. And so far, the Dundee Derby is absolutely scudding this game. It's just no living up to any sort of expectation. Born is in. I think there's been about two shots on target all game. Hope for a better second half. Just anything will be better than that first half. As you can see that's me home for the Edinburgh Derby now, 
and the first half really didn't live up to any expectations I had it, it was really dire and um, I have thought that at Edinburgh Derby's before but I was wanting this one to be better than the rest and the second half definitely made up for it scenes when that second goal went in Aaron Hickey, a youth product of Hearts I believe and I what a moment for the guy and those scenes when he's running towards the away end celebrating like that with all the Hearts fans like the Dundee United fans but the Dundee Derby just chucking themselves about the place that's what football's all about that's the feeling you want to get when you're a football fan and transform that into where I was in the Hibs end and they're chanting that they want their manager out etc etc it just shows the stark comparison between the two sides of Edinburgh today of course Hearts have been feeling the same about Craig Levine recently as well but today they'll be jubilant because they've got one over on their city rivals and that's all you can ask for on Derby Day. I don't think Craig Levine was ever going to be under pressure considering the statement that Anne Budge put out midweek about the whole situation at Hearts but I think Paul Heckenbottom is massively under pressure and if he's not gone by the time this video goes up then he's walking on very 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 thin eggshells at this point because that is just dire. Losing at home when you've been 1-0 up in a derby doesn't spell good things for anyone at that point. But aye, that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below what you thought of the game itself. Subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers guys.